Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. In the last episode, we made our way through some deadly traps here at the Pillow Factory and finally got into the Pillowtron 3000 itself, only to find Chuck, who gave away the big plot, which is that Thimbleweed County is actually just a giant simulation and all these lovely characters are just uh, in a video game, pretty much being controlled by us. Yes, very meta indeed, very Ron Gilbert. And despite that, we still have some objectives to do. Um, all of them have their own little final wishes, like uh, Ransom here wants to have one last show. Dolores, I believe, wants to um, say goodbye to Dad. Uh, Reyes wants to still try and get money somehow, even though she's just learned that the whole world's not real. Don't quite get that. And Reyes, did I say Reyes before? I meant Ray. Reyes uh, wants to put um, his dad's name, you know, clear his dad's name, basically, yeah. So, I feel like this might even be the last part, who knows by this point. I, I sound like a broken record saying that, but, um, yeah, and we still obviously have Franklin here at the hotel, who still has some stuff to do. Oh, like, oh, this has changed, actually. Did I look at this one? I don't think I looked at this one last time. I'm tired of Xavier pushing me and everyone else around. I'm finally going to stand up for myself and give him the business. I need to say goodbye to Dolores before it's too late. Stand up to Xavier. Tell Dolores I love her. Tell Dolores I'm sorry. Tell Dolores goodbye. Oh, that's kind of sad. Uh, I wonder if this has changed how we speak to him in the penthouse. The elevator isn't on this floor. It's a button to call the elevator. Let's, uh, let's see if that's actually the case. Okay, Xavier, where are you? You're about to get a piece of my mind. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Oh, okay, we, we have got a new dialogue option. You're a bully and a tyrant. You're a bully and a tyrant. Whoa, sounds like new ghost found some spunk. Indeed. My name is not new ghost, it's Franklin. Everyone hates you. You clearly have self-esteem issues. You're all sick of your bullying. We all want to move on. Wow, this is exactly what Franklin needed. I'm glad. Well done, you. Let's go with. Uh, let's just let's just be straight to the point. Everyone hates this guy. Everyone hates you. Careful, or it's to the basement for you. Oh wow, we can just go through all of these. I think. We're all sick of your bullying. I've about had enough of you, new ghost. You clearly have some self-esteem issues. Okay, that kind of hurt. Oh, here we go. It's wearing him down. This is it. We all just want to move on. Really? Am I that bad? <laughs> you have little hands. Hmm, that sounds familiar. We're not going to be ruled by you anymore. I just want to see my wife again. I'm lonely, and I miss her. I died, and I never told her how much I loved her. It's okay. We all miss someone we love. <laughs> oh, I wanted to use the little hands one last, and it wouldn't let me. Oh, well. Save that for Trump instead. Anyway, we got the crystal. <laughs> Poor Xavier. Now I feel a little bit bad. He just wants closure in his life. But then so do we. That's what we want. So, we've stood up to Xavier. We need to go into the secret room and wait for Dolores. All right. Let's get in here. Does this just go in the middle of the thing, or how does the crystal work again? This is my key to talking to Dolores again. Or do I just need to hold on to it when I go through the portal? Can I use this anymore? Let's have a look. Um, or do I, oh, maybe I need to come here as Dolores? I can't remember now. Because this isn't selectable anymore, so I guess... Ooh, I guess, uh, yeah, let's just wait here and I'll get Dolores to come over. Dolores. Oh, Dad. Okay, so yeah, we now we can sort of notice each other. That's good. Ah, oh, this is nice. You've lost some weight. <laughs> well, I mean, he is a ghost. Uh... It's so good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. That's okay. You've lost some weight? Well, you could say that. Not sure how it happened, but I'm, you know, dead. I think your uncle had something to do with it. 
It's okay. I think I know what is going on. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. Alright, what are we going to say to Dolores? I'm so sorry for everything. Your Uncle Chuck is an evil jerkwad. A simulation? That can't be true. Um, I'm afraid it is. Well, Chuck was a jerkwad. Wait, your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? Oh, Uncle Chuck was a jerkwad, but mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. When he discovered the truth, he knew what he had to do. He was a jerk to me before that. I know he was. I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Maybe because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. You have nothing to be sorry for. Aw, oh, gnarly dad. I gotta remember this is in 1987, so yeah, gnarly. Mm -hmm. A simulation? That can't be true. It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us all. Ah, by free us all, you mean go back to our real lives? I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. You should get going. I love you. We're all counting on you. Aww. You should get going. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on now. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. Goodbye, Dolores. Goodbye, Dad. Oh, I don't think that would be as sad as it actually was, but... Okay, well, we're all going to end up dying, I suppose, in, in this situation, if we do end this simulation, so... Yeah, I think I went with a more positive approach there, rather than the other option, which was just like, yeah, we're just going to end, so... Alright. There's that, is now we yeah he's gone, that's it. We can't play as Franklin anymore. Bye Franklin. What do we have to do as Dolores? We need to figure out what to use this balloon animal with. Shut down wireframe Pelotron in wireframe world. Oh that's right, I need to go and watch the Kickstarter video, don't I? Or something like that. Hmm. Before I do that, let's just check. So this is Ray. I need to find the secret my employers are looking for and get it to them before the game is deleted. Find out what my employers are looking for. Hmm. We were all given things related, weren't we? So what was this? It's a Game of the Year award. Best game of 1988. 1988? Is that from the future? This is Chuck's confession. Oh, that's right. We need to give this to um, Nickel News. It's a confession from Chuck Edmund. It says he framed Mr. Reyes, the security guard. Okay, so let's go do that now, because that's I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the right thing to do. Uh, A Street, I believe. Let's go give this to what's her face? Nicola? <laughs> Is it Nicola at Nickel News? That seems no, I don't think that's right. Uh, the journalist will just say. Natalie, I was close. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Caught any more killers? Well, you could say that. I have a big scoop for you. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Hmm. Well, they're all really good stories. Front page news. But we have one in mind, don't we? Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Almost done. Done! Wow, she is a quick writer. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, Nickel News. Factory guard cleared in fire. Chuck takes all responsibility. Wait, she's already reported that she wins the Pulitzer. That's not even true yet. She's just really eager. Alright, cool, nice. Is that... Oh, wow, so yeah, we're just wiping them off one by one. Huh. Alright then, let's have a look at Ransoms. We got a I'm sorry for being a dick card. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. 
give it to someone to say I'm sorry. I guess I know who we need to give that to. Lovely, well, I say lovely, crazy old Madame Marina, uh, which would be at the end of this road. Who was, because her, um, Ray's employers were like, uh, she met them at the hotel, right? Or phone call from them at the hotel. I wonder if that's where we need to go back with Ray. Anyway, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Let's go in here. It's locked. <gasps> it's locked. Oh no, where is she? Is she back here? Madam Marina? Oh no. Can we just post it through the letterbox maybe? That doesn't seem to work. Nope. Or push. I can't no. push that. <laughs> I want to push it through the letterbox. Oh, I guess we need to find her then. What else is on this thing? Um, if I could just do one more show and see if I can insult people without being cruel. Find someone to give the card to. Go back into my flashback and do one last show. Right. I'm going to go look around for Madame Marina. Hmm. Okay, I've been looking around. And it's basically... It's night time, so everywhere's locked. And there's no one around. <laughs> and I've also noticed that some places are now no longer on the map. Like the radio station's not here anymore. Can't go into the forest. Things are things are shutting down, you know. Um, I did just pass by Ron Gilbert though. He's still lingering. Do we want to give him the card? <laughs> Can we? That doesn't seem to work. Oh, I meant to do give. He doesn't want it. No. Okay. Then where is? I'm, I mean, that doesn't really make much sense. Why he would want it? It's Madame Marina. That's the one we insulted and got the curse and everything. So where is she? Is Willie still here? Willie is still here. Do you want the card? He doesn't want it. No, Willie doesn't want the card. He's fine. I mean, it's still locked up. But apart from that, he's fine. Okay, you know what? Uh, I can't find her quite yet. So I'm going to leave Ransom. Let's move on to Ray. Game of the Year Award. I need to find the secret my employees are looking for and get it to them before the game is deleted. Right. What does that mean, though? Find the secret. So there's going to be something in this factory, right? That they, they wanted the secrets in here, so... Maybe I should have a little snoop about as Ray. Just have a check. Okay, I gave up with the factory, but we have got an award for Game of the Year, so does Ron Gilbert want this instead? Why is he still here? Take this. Hey, nerd. You won some kind of dumb award nobody cares about. Oh my god! We won! Oh, wow. Oh. I have to go tell the others. Nerd. Now I need to find the secret I'm being paid to recover. It must be in here somewhere. Oh, okay, so we got a... What? Look at this. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Hmm. I wonder. What do you wonder? What is it? It's a bunch of bo Hmm. Can we use his computer? No. Can we look at that? No. Books on UFOs, animation, and puppies. Hmm. So we got rid of him. Can we pick up this? We can. Congratulations, Agent Ray. You have found a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart. It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. We honor our agreements. That tickled. <laughs> oh, another one bites the dust. Yep, Ray is gone. That was like out of Tron, you know, getting sucked into the video game, except I guess it was like the reverse of that in this case. Um, right, let's move on then. That was really weird. I mean, 
Oh, I'll talk about that when we finish the game, but I really do have some very... I have some thoughts about the, the way this is ending. Um, okay. I really feel like we need to end with Dolores, because she's the one that's going to shut down the game, so I don't know why... I can't find Madame Marina. I'm pretty sure that's who we need to give the card to. And I can't even see anyone else around. This is going to be locked. It's not locked. Okay, interesting. Is she in here? No. Hmm. I guess I'm, I'm just going to have to go, you know, one by one. Through all these... Oh, maybe I should ring her up. Should I ring her up? Is she in the phone book? Madam Marina? Probably not, right? What was her first name? Or, or maybe it'll be under Occult Books. Uh, is Occult Books in here? No. Fine, I'm going to carry on searching then. Sandy, do you want the card? I got this for you, Sandy. Look, I'm not one to get all a fall of jetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just one more show and maybe not be such a He deserves one last chance, sugar cakes. Okay, Ransom, but only because you got me this nice card. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. Well-earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed uh, fine folks. Right, right. Sandy was the one who originally gave the flashback for Ransom. Okay. That, that makes sense. Cool. Um, Alright, well, here we are then. Back in time. We don't really need to ring anyone. Don't know why I did that. I guess this is all going to be the same. It's my empty Rants of the Clown swear jar. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. You know, I've just realised that sometimes he really sounds like Gilbert Gottfried. Do you, do you, do you hear that? I definitely did at some points when he was saying that. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. Anyway, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get on the stage and be nice to the people. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Oh, okay. So, let's have a look. We've got the dude with the stupid moustache. Probably that guy. We've got the crappy wheelchair over here. And where's the lady with the hairy mole? Oh, there she is, right in front of us. Madame Marina. Okay. Let's start at the top. Hey, you! Dude with the stupid moustache! Okay, remember, we've got to be nice, so... You know, if you grew a hipster goatee, you wouldn't look half bad. I mean, that wasn't very funny, but I guess we're, we're, we're trying to be nice. Hey, you! Kid with a crappy wheelchair! Uh... Oh, wow, the Ransom Foundation. Is that even a thing? You should contact the Ransom Foundation about getting a new one for free. Here we go. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole. I just went to med school when you might want to get that looked at. Oh, that is very considerate. I went to med school. You might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. But they were good-natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. 
He was on top of the world, and everyone loved him. And that is the end of Ransom's little story, I guess. We are just Dolores. Right. With that all said and done... Oh, right, yeah, now we need to figure out what to use the balloon with. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to quickly tab out of this and go watch the Kickstarter video and see what it says about a balloon animal or some sort of secret or code or whatever. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, that was very interesting, watching that old Kickstarter video. I'll probably put the clip in, I'll probably splice it in, uh, but it's kind of weird seeing all the old artwork and stuff when they were first launching the game, because it does look very different uh, and much nicer in the finished product, for sure. But yeah, we need to use the balloon animal with, of all things, the corpse. Yeah, remember that? Remember the beginning of the game? Uh, I know it seems a long time ago now, Partly because I've been very slow making this Let's Play, but also they kind of forgot about this whole thing with Boris and the murder. Like it's just escalated into whole new realms of weirdness. But we need to use this with the corpse. Maybe I should save the game first. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Last time it said that, then the Edmund Mansion blew up, so... I'm just going to save this there, and let's try that again. Oh no! This can't be good. The game is glitching. Tubular! Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world, the game's concept level the developers built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down before they can reset the game. Oh, there's me talking about the old artwork and then this is actually part of the game. Right, okay. No sound, uh, no music. Wow, yeah, this this doesn't look great, but, you know, it is just like, like I say, it was, it was the test, it was the developing style. Um, I wonder how different the whole thing is going to be. Is it going to be a different map? Can I look at things still? Gross! Does this look... okay, this looks the same. Right. Uh, cool. Let's... actually, our map's gone, so we can't use that anymore. <laughs> this is the road. <laughs> Let's go this way. Can we still interact with stuff? Is there any point? It's eerily quiet, and I don't like this. There's a sign, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this really is getting retro now, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, can't go in the town hall. Can go down A Street, though. Oh, wow, you can go in all these places! Huh. I mean, obviously the game looks much nicer in the finished version, but it is kind of interesting seeing this. And this does have its own level of charm to it. Post office. No George to be found here. It's just kind of very, it's very insightful as to how a game first gets started. Nickel News. Very different look. Oh, the hitching post. Oh, so hang on, these sort of things were closed. And now we can actually go in them. A little sneak peek of what we could have seen. Oh, a Balltron 3000. <laughs> that would have been fun to go on. It's a shame that it all shut down. Safety first savings. This is actually quite similar. Yeah, oh. <gasps> Into the vault. Okay. What are we trying to find? Pelotron, of course, yes. Oh wait, could we go in the manager? No. Anything else at the end of here? No. No uh, occult bookstore. At least not in this one. 
Although actually the arcade wasn't down this one, was it? Smart buy thimble weed electronics? No, can't go in there. The diner? No. B Street? The bus depot? Hardware and paint. Alright. Ooh. It's a chainsaw. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. I don't want to pick that up. Okay, fine then, I won't. Maybe that's just for Ray when she gets to use it. Ah, here's the occult books. Can't go in there either. Alright, end of that road. I don't like how there's no music. It's I, I feel like I can really hear my own voice now. <laughs> the quickie pal. Can't go in the toilet, can't go in there, can't use the movie tron. Over to the vista. Oh wow, yeah, we do get the old style map. Okay, so we're here. And I think the factory is probably the only place we can go to. Oh no, we can go to the mansion. Let's go there. Let's check that out. Ooh. 5858 Edmund. Can we go inside? Is, is Doug going to be there? Hey, there's a the clock. This clock looks vaguely familiar. I don't want to open it. Hmm. Nice picture of Chuck. Bit scary. Want oh my. food? Come here, Gary. Okay, that actually just made me jump a little bit. Well, a lot. Wow, that's horrible. Oh, she's gone. What the frick was that? That was horrible. <laughs> Is she gonna be? She? It? Are they gonna be somewhere else in this house? Oh, I'm a bit worried now. Oh, okay, this is the library. Yes. Can't go upstairs though. Oh, actually, look, it just stops. You can see <laughs> where it stops at the top. Uh, all right. I'm not joking, I'm a little bit nervous now. I want to click really slowly towards the end of rooms. Gigantic TV. That's a huge TV for 1987. Uh, where else haven't we been? Upstairs. And there's that same painting. That painting hasn't really changed much, has it? I think that's pretty much the same. Okay. Oh, this must be our room. Can we use the computer? No. Wait a minute, that's Monkey Island, isn't it? That poster. That one must be... That's probably Maniac Mansion. Or Manic Mansion. No, Maniac. And that one... I don't know what that one's meant to be. That's definitely Monkey Island, though. You can see the skull in it. And there's Guybrush. Okay. Please don't be in here, crazy lady. I think that's probably a one-off. I think I'm safe. Probably a character from a different game that I just don't know of. Alright, come on Dolores. We haven't got all day here. We need to get to... How about we just walk in front of that? Look. <laughs> we need to get to the factory. How do I leave? Just to double check. Can't go there. No. No. Okay, to the factory. Condemn danger, no trespassing. Mm -hmm. Pillow Masters. The mechanised pillow factory of the future. Established 1954. How do we get in? Oh, that's in. In we go. I'm going to be honest, I was kind of... Oh, wow, this is really blocky. Holy moly. I was kind of wanting the wireframe world to be an actual wireframe and look like Tron. <laughs> this is cool too, though. Don't get me wrong. Well, did I go in there or did I, I think I might just left. There's one of the time things. Yeah, that's it. Door. Chuck's office. A nice hat. Okay, can't go any more that way. Ooh. 
That's probably the way to go. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. All right. Let's go in. Certain death. Okay, yeah, there's the robot arms. Yes, yes, yes. They're th thankfully, they're turned off. Lasers. Just walk straight through those. Great. Down a very long corridor. Okay. Oh, now I'm hearing stuff. Is it the fan? It's the fan. Oh, we can just walk straight through it though. Fine. And then that should mean Pelotron is right here. And it looks scary. Look, it's got a face and teeth. Is it going to come alive and try and kill us? Oh, okay, no. This bit's kind of similar. This looks like the wireframe Pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and we'll end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Of course, that's what Uncle Chuck says, and there's still a chance he's insane. I mean, quite possibly, but what else have we got? We've got, pff, we've got nothing to lose apart from our life. And would you really want to live in a simulation? Let's have a go. Let's start pushing these in. I wonder what's... Oh, I'm a bit nervous. What's going to happen? How is this going to end? Alright, here we go. Pushing these PT-109s back in. Just to double check, nothing else here before I do this last one. No. All right, here we go. One last push. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. Okay, yeah, do it then. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores, you can do it. You got it, girl, come on. Okay, this is it. I'm going to do it. Do you want me to save or something? Is that, is that what you're saying? I mean, I, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I can't, so let's just do it. Let's end this. Thimbleweed Park, a terrible toy box production. This can't... This can't be the end, right? Right? I feel like there's going to be like a post credit scene. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> I really don't want that to be the actual ending because that would be a bit of a bit of a downer. Um, I guess I'm just going to keep rambling until the end of these credits and maybe something will happen. Okay, well, let's just say this is the end, which, you know, probably is. Um, wow, that was it. That was, that was Thimbleweed Park. That was a very interesting game. Um, where do I even begin? So let's just get some of the, let's just get some of the things I liked out of the way. Uh, I liked the art, maybe not at the end there, but <laughs> yeah, that was charming in its own way. But I thought the art of the whole game in general was really nice, the pixel the pixel backgrounds and, and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, the, the characters do have a bit of a bobblehead-ness to them, which is not everyone's cup of tea, I get that, but um, a bit like Funko Pops, but um, I think it was nice. I like the look of the game visually, and I like the music as well, I thought the music was really good. Um, the the right well I'll get into the writing and the story in a bit the puzzles I thought were okay um, some of them I as you would have noticed during the sets play I needed to use hints for and that's probably just me being stupid but I, I didn't think I didn't think the puzzles were were great unfortunately I thought they were okay it's kind of like a difficult balance where you need them to be hard enough to get like a satisfaction out of them when you work them out but not hard enough to just give up which is where I was a couple times 
And it's always nice just to have puzzles that are like, I don't know, they're just really clever and, and you, when you do them you think, oh yeah, why didn't I not think of that? And I, I'm not, I'm not getting many of those with this game. Maybe I need to go back and actually go through every puzzle that was in it, but I, yeah, I think they could have been stronger perhaps. And I think the biggest thing this game lets me down on is is the characters and the story. And oh, is this the end of the credits? No. Um, the characters mainly because I think there was too many. There was too many characters and that means that we didn't really get to know them very much. Um, you know, we went into some of the stories a, a bit, you know, Ransom and... A, 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 Ray kind of like, who really cares what happened to Ray, right? Reyes, same sort of thing. I wanted to know more about Reyes, but we didn't really get the chance. Dolores, I'd say, is probably the one we got most to know about, obviously because of Chuck and Franklin and stuff. And it was nice to have that little bit at the end there with Franklin and Dolores, but I think the problem is there was just too many, and that means that there wasn't enough of a chance to really get into their stories a bit more. And also, when I think back to other games that had multiple um, characters, point and clicks, so I've only played one, really, and that was uh, Day of the Tentacle. They only had three, and in that game, the three characters were in their own dimensions, their own time periods in that game. And that meant that although there was similar locations, they were different. Like, you know, in one it was like a um, George Washington, um, and then in another it was in the future, you know. So it was, it was the same area, but it was different look and style. Uh, oh, thanks for playing. We will miss you. I guess, yeah, we've just killed everyone. Please tell your friends to buy the game. I got it for free. Sorry. <laughs> So we don't have to go get real jobs and can keep making games. Uh, I think this might be an... I'm going to stop rambling for a sec just to see if something happens. Oh, error. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Maybe they missed a curly bracket. <laughs> oh, the music's just stopped. <laughs> End credits theme. Not found. Oh, uh, that's good. Oh. And now the credits are not found. Does that mean we're done? Oh. Oh, I think that really is it. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Commodore 64 Basic V3. Yeah. Okay. I guess. I guess. Yeah. This is it. That. That was the end. Uh, that was. That was the post-credit bit of us restarting the game on a Commodore 64. Anyway, as I was saying. Um, yeah. Unlike Day of the Tentacle, where I only had three characters and they were sort of isolated. In this game, you had what five characters at one point, and wait, five characters? Yeah, five characters, and they're most of them. Are in the same location. You know, they're all in Thimbleweed Park, they're all in Thimbleweed County, seeing the same stuff. And so what that means is it just gets a little bit like you have to go and check something with each character to know you know they might say something different. And I know that's a part of point and clicks, is you have to go and investigate, but I think that was uh, to the game's hindrance in this case. Like it was just too much to go around every time with loads of different characters. And yeah, like I mentioned, it didn't really give you enough chance to really get to 
know the characters very much. And I think it could have worked having five characters if more of the puzzles were to do with like linking up together, having puzzles where every one of them plays an element in it. And I definitely got that sense sometimes, like uh, when we had to go turn off the radio station and switch the discs, the, the vinyls, you know, to make the theremin music. That was nice because it's like, okay, we needed Ransom to go up there, we needed Dolores to do this and whatever and whatever. Like that was where I think having the characters um, really shined because it was a case of actually using them all in different ways, but for one task. Other points of the game, it just felt like like really completely separate things and it didn't really overlap very nicely. Um, but that's just my opinion. I think also to do with the characters, I don't really think the game was particularly funny. Um, I think it had funny moments, but it, it, it definitely, and you know, it might not have been it might not have been trying to be a very funny game, it might not have been trying to be like Secret Monkey Island, uh, Day of the Tentacle, Toonstruck, you know, they sort of ones where they are really wacky. Um, and maybe it did lean more heavily into that mystery thing, theme, but I think it was it, it, it wasn't very funny and I don't think it had enough of that other side of it, it didn't have enough of that mystery element or that thriller or whatever. It was sort of like stuck in a weird limbo of not being very serious but also not being very funny. Um, which was a shame. Had some funny moments, don't get me wrong. Definitely laughed at maturing points. But yeah. I think a bit too much dialogue and that, that comes with having five characters. Just too much dialogue to go through. Um, dialogue is great. It's, it's an intrinsic part of point and clicks. But if it's not funny and it's not necessary then maybe not have so much of it um, I, I sound like I'm really digging into the game here but I'm just really just going off the top of my head with a ramble and I guess the, the biggest thing that I, I find a disappointment with this game is is yeah how it's just ended and the story in general because a lot of people said you know this is a Ron Gilbert game just look at Monkey Island 2 um, the Chuck's Revenge this is what he does he does very meta endings just like how it ended at um, you know, the theme park in uh, you know, Big Whoop in Monkey Island 2 and it kind of like takes you out of it and makes you think and yeah I guess this game did that but it was very it was very meta like it, it and I know that I did turn that on at the beginning there was an option to have how much the game is referencing point and clicks and itself and things and I turned that on because I thought you know well you know we've played point and clicks a lot now on this channel uh, it might be quite fun, and don't get me wrong, it, it, every now and then having a little reference to Monkey Island or to the fact that this is a game and whatever, that's fine, but there was just a few too many times I think, and there's just a few too much, and I think having the game end the way it did where yeah, it, it was just a game and this is a simulation and you go back in the old art files and whatever, <sighs> I think I would have preferred a more standard just murder mystery which eventually went down Chuck and I didn't think it needed the whole AI and then we are the players playing the characters and they re like it got a bit Truman showy it got a bit it just got a bit much that's my opinion anyway and you're obviously free to have your own opinions if you if you enjoy the story let me know what did you like about it you know give me your thoughts on what you felt about this game but I don't know I, I think it had a lot of potential and I think a lot of things it did very well but I uh, this is probably the most critical I've been of a point and click like ending a let's play um, I guess it's just because I've now played so many I can start to get a bit more of a balanced opinion on them and start to actually weigh them up against each other um, I know there is also a little uh, extras game uh, with Dolores which is basically uh, featuring a lot of the stuff that was cut from this, which um, I might quickly play. I might do it on a live stream if it doesn't take very long. Uh, I probably won't do it as a continuation of this series, though. I think I'm going to end this here. But yeah, I think I rambled enough now. Probably rambled for like 10, <laughs> 10 minutes solid about this game. I think overall, I'm glad I played it. It very much was a retro pointer click that harkened back to, you know, Monkey Island 2 
because it has the same creator and it has that same element of of a weird ending. Um, yeah, and I'm glad I played it. it. It was definitely on my radar to play uh, ever since it came out a few years ago, and I'm glad I got it for free on uh, Epic Game Stores. Um, but I, I wish it would have been different. I wish it would have gone down a different route. Possibly either leaned more heavily into being wacky and funny, or perhaps went more into a serious murder, mystery, thriller sort of point and click. Um, yeah. I enjoyed it though, and I hope you enjoyed watching this Let's Play too. Thank you to everyone who gave hints and stuff along the way, and have just generally supported the Let's Play by leaving nice comments. I, I really do appreciate it, and um, yeah, that's why I continue to make Let's Plays to this day. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you all very much for joining me on this Let's Play, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, Reno. <laughs>